So what is necessitate to make a substance into as a resource? A number of goods are available in an environment. Adi Manav ke baare mein aapne suna hua hai. Apes ke baare mein. Apes at the time of 10,000 years back, when the early man, it was residing over the earth, at that time, the number of substances were available, but they were not utilized them. So what makes a substance into as a resource? What makes a substance into as a resource? First option, utility. Option B, skill. Option C, both. Option D, none. What is your opinion? Gitanshu, what makes a substance into as a resource? Both? Sure. No. Yes, Akshit, what is your answer? Sure. Except, answer is correct, both, but accept them. What another aspects which can make as a substance into as a resource? Except the skill and utility, what another aspects are related to the convert a substance into as a resource? Technology or any other technology, skill, utility or one more, one more. Get the MCQ test on as well. Easy. She'll answer. Second last girl. Yes. Except skill, technology, and utility. What another makes as a substance into as a resource? Sorry? Economy? No. Resources contributed in a growth of economy. Man, if there is a substance, what is required to make a resource? What is required to make a resource? One is a skill, how to utilize it. Technology, how can it be utilized through the system? Third, what is the utility? What can it be used? For example, solar energy was used before. Solar energy was used by the farmers to dry their crops. But presently, it is used solar energy for the transformation of electricity. If we take a solar energy example, Utility kya hai? It has used for a generation of electricity. This is as a use. Clear? Skill, through the skills, we can transform that solar energy into as an energy. And technology, that technology which has required transform the solar energy into the power is a, what we call to that technology? You read in a science, physics mein padha What we call to a that technology through which we convert sun, solar energy into the energy, power, electricity. Heat. No. No. What technology used for a transformation of a solar energy into the power, electricity? The solar panels may use ki jati, what technology ka naam kya? Electric? Kya ka aapne? Electric? Daksh? Kya ka aapne? No. No. Peto. अगर आप इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी इसे कहोगे तो हाइड्रल पास स्टेशन से जो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी आ रही है वो भी सेम पैटर्न से आ रही है पर बनाने का तरीका डिफरेंट है विंड मिल्स के अंदर जियोथर्मल एनर्जी के अंदर टाइडल एनर्जी डिफरेंट मेथड्स आर देयर थ्रू व्हिच इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जनरेट्स इन अ हाइड्रल पास स्टेशन रोटेशन ऑफ अ टरबाइंस हेल्प्स टू जनरेट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बट इन अ सोलर पैनल्स सोलर पैनल्स सनलाइट इट हैज यूज्ड टू ट्रांसफॉर्म इनटू एज अ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी मेथड डिफरेंट है पर एंड प्रोडक्ट सेम है मैं पूछ रहा हूं वो टेक्नोलॉजी वो मेथड कौन सा है जिससे हम सनलाइट को इलेक्ट्रिसिटी में कन्वर्ट कर लेंगे दक्ष कम फॉरवर्ड आगे आ जाइए बच्चे दक्ष आगे आ जाइए अदरवाइज रिसोर्स स्टार्ट टू वर्क सबस्टांस इट विल बी द रिसोर्स फॉर यू हु विल आंसर वेरी गुड कार्तिक फोटो वोल्टेक टेक्नोलॉजी फोटो वोल्टेक टेक्नोलॉजी Photovoltaic technology. It has used for a transformation of a sunlight into as a electricity. Clear? Yeah. The fourth aspect tha, it is as the availability. Resources, it should be as available in a larger quantities. Substance, when large quantities, it will be used 
उसके लिए स्किल्स होंगी और उसके लिए अवेलेबल टेक्नोलॉजी होगी डेंडर सब्सटेंस इट कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू एज अ रिसोर्स वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चन डस्टर वज इट डस्टर थैंक यू there are different categories of resources on the basis of a nature on the basis of nature two types of resources are there two types of resources are there natural resources and a man made resources so naturally occurring substances like as a minerals they are categorized under the natural resources sunlight wind water are the natural resources man made resources when men has used their skills and technology to transform a substance into as a resource is known as a man made resources district is a man made resource chalk is a man made resource classroom is a man made resource sit properly second class girl sit properly next on the basis of a origin on the basis of origin two kinds of resources are there biotic and abiotic resources biotic which are consisting as a flora and fauna flora comprises the plant species fauna as a animal species what processes through which biotic resources renewed in nature what we call to the such processes through which the biotic resources renewed in nature reproduction reproduction and what what we call to the such processes through which abiotic resources renewed in nature recycled in nature we call water is a renewable resource why we call water is a renewable resource third last girl why we call water is a renewable resource it recycled by it renewed by the it recycled by the hydrological cycle what we call to a dead process to which the third girl third what we call to that process to which as a liquid form of a water transform into the gaseous form of water vapors yes third girl i think water cycle is not familiar to her it introduced in a fifth standard evaporation and a gaseous form of a water vapor ducts transform into the liquid form of water droplets next you the gaseous form of a water vapor transform into the solid form of ice crystals what we call to that process yes condensation is a process in which water vapor transform into the liquid हाँ जी मैंने कहा गैशियस फॉर्म ऑफ वाटर वेपर्स ट्रांसफॉर्म इनटू द सॉलिड फॉर्म ऑफ आइस क्रिस्टल्स वेरी गुड सब्लिमेशन टू द प्रोसेस ऑफ अ सब्लिमेशन स्नो अकर्ड ऑन अ सरफेस ऑफ द अर्थ क्रस्ट हेल स्नो एंड फ्रॉस्ट वेरी गुड डच सो दिस इज एज अ सेकंड कैटेगराइजेशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ ओरिजिन थर्ड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ एग्जॉस्टिबिलिटी एग्जॉस्टिबिलिटी हाँ जी यस एग्जॉस्टिबिलिटी मीन्स वॉट मीन्स यूज आफ्टर द यूज रिसोर्सेस आर सस्टेन ऑन अर्थ और नॉट एग्जॉस्टिबिलिटी आप दो नंबर ऑफ रिसोर्सेस विच आर वैनिश विच आर फिनिश फ्रॉम द अर्थ आफ्टर द यूज आर नोन एज द इन एग्जॉस्टिबल इन सॉरी दे आर द एग्जॉस्टिबल इन नेचर they are non renewable in nature coal petroleum natural gas after they are burning they vanish from the earth and second category those number of resources which can use again and again which recycle and renewed by the nature again and again they are known as a non they are known as a renewable in nature renewable resources for example sunlight water air 
it has not finished after they use it can use again and again clear exhaustible resources are unevenly distributed over the earth their availability has vary as per the existing geological patterns and the types of rocks the crude oil and natural gas coal it has generally affected by the geological patterns relief or types of soils so types of rocks in the other side renewable resources are equally distributed over the earth ji yeah, am i correct renewable resources are equally distributed over the earth ji yeah, dhavan am i correct sure sure no but your next person it said yes Third last girl. Third last girl. The availability of a sunlight on Earth is equally distributed. She said yes. Which part of the Earth has consisting the uh, larger amount of a sunlight which fall on us, and as compared to the equator when we are moving towards the pole world areas, amount of sunlight varies. So same as wind also not lights as equally over the Earth. most of the wind energy has used for a generation of electricity it has basically lights in a tropical conditions the many kaha tha suna nahi that is there any problem to grasp the things to understand the things exhaustibility two resources are they exhaustible and inexhaustible in nature till there any doubts any questions हेडेक हो रहा है बच्चे आपको पता था बीमार हो ना ही आते नहीं पता क्यों नहीं था इट्स योर बॉडी आपको अपने बारे में नहीं पता पुट योर हेड हेड डाउन मेडिसिन ले लो नहीं तो ओके नेक्स्ट कैटेगरी ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ ओनरशिप नहीं आएगा it's not not related with the sectors of economy or industries individual resources community resources national resources international resources international resources so individual resources which are owned by the individual one individual for example a pen which is owned by the dutch copy vehicle land plot apartment all these are car racket badminton racket dutch racket clear these are the individual resources which are commonly uh, which are not commonly used by the people belonging in a one particular community it are these are basically owned by the individuals as per their needs they are used put your head down head down cover your mask cover your face with mask then put your head down medicine la de hey vivan any question to be man any question very good sit down what processes to which as a biotic resources are renewed in nature what processes are generally used for a transformation of or renewable of biotic resources in nature do you know the answer nahi aata aap सेम क्वेश्चन सेम क्वेश्चन नहीं आता खड़े रहिए दोनों चलिए आगे चलते हैं रिप्रोडक्शन सो नेक्स्ट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ ओनरशिप फोर टाइप्स ऑफ रिसोर्सेस आर देयर इंडिविजुअल रिसोर्सेस कम्युनिटी रिसोर्सेस नेशनल रिसोर्सेस एंड इंटरनेशनल रिसोर्सेस रिसोर्सेस व्हिच आर जनरली यूज्ड फॉर द इंडिविजुअल्स बिलोंग फ्रॉम द वन पर्टिकुलर कम्युनिटी आर नोन एज अ कम्युनिटी रिसोर्सेस फॉर एग्जांपल पार्क्स एग्जांपल रिवर लेक पॉन्ड these are the community resources which are not owned by the one individual the people belonging from the particular community temple gurdwara religious centers used by the particular community one rivers are rivers which are lies in a one particular state rivers seasonal rivers river systems generally as the national resources the one particular river which has drained the one particular state next 
national resources resources which are in uh, commonly used by the citizens of a country citizens of a country services which are provided by the government of india for them indian railways indian postal services national highways these are the national resources airport can you give me the name of our that airport of amritsar what's the name of it chatrapati shivaji the name has given to the bombay maine amritsar ka earlier it was known as raja sansi airport international airport what is the new name given to it the name has given to that that on the name of a that particular religious saint or a leader which was founded as amritsar maine answer de diya aapko ha ah, gurram das international airport very good girl your name har simran so very good next are the international resources resources which are commonly used by the resources used by the one sorry different countries of a nation for example swiss canal it was constructed in 1869 bench me jaiye everyone no problem time pe aao yes swiss canal constructed in 1869 to interlink between europe and europe and india europe and india india lies in a central parts of the asia asia ke sath nahi europe ko india ke sath jodti hai swiss canal jab canal word aati hai it will be as a water body artificial water body yahi hoga ha yahi hoga so europe ke through logon ko india tak pahunchaya jata hai nahi pahunchaya jayega no anybody else swiss canal interlinks between no to see वॉटर बॉडी सा दे दो सी को जोड़ती है ये इट रिड्यूस द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन ऑफ यूरोप एंड साउथ ईस्टर्न एशियन कंट्रीज अप्रोक्सीमेटली सेवन थाउजेंड किलोमीटर डिस्टेंस जस्ट ओनली वन वास्को डे गामा रीच इन इंडिया एंड फोर्टीन नाइनटी एट ही गो अक्रॉस द कंप्लीट ऑफ अफ्रीकन कॉन्टिनेंट एंड फाइनली रीच इन इंडिया एट कैलिकट विद कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ अ स्वेस के नाथ इट रिड्यूस सेवन थाउजेंड किलोमीटर डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम साउथ ईस्टर्न एशियन कंट्रीज इंडिया टूवर्ड्स यूरोप Question is name those two water bodies which interlink through the Suez Canal. It is as an international resource because not owned by no one particular country. Different countries are collectively used by the such resources. Yes, who will answer? Paramprit, Ranveer, Ranveer, Manmeet. Yes, answer. Name those two water bodies which are interlinked through the Suez Canal. It was constructed in 1869 to reduce the distance between Europe, uh, Europe, North America, and Southeastern Asian countries. The person who will answer, it can only sit. Vivan and Ryan, Kalra. name those two water bodies which interlinked through swiss canal bisham given given the correct answer no options are there okay options pacific and atlantic ocean option a option b mediterranean sea and red sea option c arabian sea and indian ocean option d option d option d arctic ocean with atlantic ocean wrong option it can be make possibilities to go outside the class so yes which option is correct first pacific and atlantic second mediterranean and red sea third third indian ocean to arabian sea and fourth arctic put your head down head down arctic and atlantic ocean e and your answer e it interlink between the pacific and atlantic oceans very good boys now 
टर्न ओवर बी और डी डी खड़े रहो दोनों बी ऑप्शन इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट मेडिटेनियन सी एंड रेड सी सेकंड सेकंड एग्जांपल पनामा कैनाल दिस इज आल्सो अनदर कैनाल इंटरनेशनल रिसोर्स ओन्ड बाय द डिफरेंट कंट्रीज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इट इंटरलिंक बिटवीन द पैसिफिक एंड द अटलांटिक ओशन इट हैज कंस्ट्रक्टेड थ्रू द कैरिबियन आइलैंड्स वेस्ट इंडीज के थ्रू कंस्ट्रक्ट की गई है एंड स्वेस कैनाल कंस्ट्रक्टेड इन इजिप्ट इजिप्ट एक्सेप्ट देम other countries all the countries of world they can access towards the 200 kilometers from their coastal areas towards the uh, towards the ocean water bodies for capturing the whales in the atlantic and the pacific ocean this is also includes under the international resources not by the one country the different countries from the total length of their coastline towards the 200 kilometers in ocean depth they can utilize the such resources for capturing the whales W H A L E S. Yes, anybody? What is the total length of the India's coastline? It's three point two eight million square kilometer. Option A. Option B. One five six zero zero kilometer. Option C. Seven five one six point six kilometer. Option D. Four eight three two point five kilometer. Option E. None. Yes. क्या था योर आंसर देन योर आंसर सेवन फाइव सी वाला एंड योर आंसर सी चलो रियान को भी चांस दे दे नो आंसर सेट डाउन विवान सेट डाउन सेवन फाइव वन सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स किलोमीटर लॉन्ग कोस्ट लाइन जो आपने कहा इट इज द टोटल एरिया ऑफ इंडिया थर्टी टू लैक्स स्क्र किलोमीटर इज द टोटल सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ इंडिया ठीक है एक और मैंने फिगर कही थी वन फाइव टू डबल जीरो किलोमीटर इट इज एज द टोटल लेंथ ऑफ अ कोस्ट लाइन इंक्लूडिंग द पार्ट ऑफ अ लक्षदीप एंड अंडमान निकोबार आइलैंड्स उन आइलैंड्स की कोस्ट लाइन को भी ऐड कर रहे हो वो फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स लॉन्ग ठीक है ना मेन लैंड ऑफ इंडिया देर कोस्ट लाइन फ्रॉम गुजरात टूवर्ड्स अ वेस्ट बंगाल विच लोकेटेड ऑन अ कोस्ट ऑफ अ गुजरात महाराष्ट्र कर्नाटक गोवा केरला तमिलनाडु आंध्र प्रदेश उड़ीसा एंड वेस्ट बंगाल देयर लेंथ इज अ 7516.6 किलोमीटर्स क्लियर तो इंडिया इंडिया इट हैज एक्सेस टुवर्ड्स द 12 नॉटिकल माइल्स 12 नॉटिकल माइल्स इट एप्रोक्सीमेटली द 22.2 किलोमीटर्स 22.2 किलोमीटर्स वेयर द फिशरमैन दे कैन कैच द फिशेस दिस इज आल्सो इंक्लूड्स अंडर द नेशनल रिसोर्सेस नेशनल रिसोर्सेस ऑल द कंट्रीज they can access towards the water body still the 12 nautical miles wherever the their fishermen they can reach without any obstructions theek okay? hai very good vivan next category of resources are the on the basis of a level of development on the basis of level of development development very good yes So four categories are there: potential resources are there, then uh, developed resources are stock and reserves. Potential. Ryan having the potential to score a good marks, to make changes in their behavior. Clear. Possibilities are there. So resources which are having as a possibilities, capabilities for generation, for providing or to satisfy our needs are the potential resources. But resources are not utilized utilized at present. why we are not utilizing them because we are not having the capital money is not there we are not having the proper technology clear or we are having the other substitutes are there tidal energy in india is a potential resource in presently we are not utilizing because we are having the other substitutes are there tidal power stations are there tidal sorry wind energy geothermal energy solar panels are there through which we can generate electricity we can generate why we have to invest the money in a growth of a tidal energy clear dash sharma so this is as a potential resources resources have capability to satisfy the needs but presently they are not utilizing clear these are potential so ryan it can improve their capabilities but it has not so resources which are not used at present because of the lack of capital their substitutes are available or the technology is not there adequate technology is not there resources are known as a potential resources second category 
develop resources, resources which are assessed, their quantity and the quality known, but their utilization has varied. Kuch area mein jyada ho raha hai, kuch area mein kam ho raha hai. Jahan ki availability jyada hai, resources which are available and are larger quantities, they use at the larger in number compared to with other areas. For example, the Himalayan rivers. Himalayan rivers are generally used for a generation of electricity. But as compared to the Himalayan rivers, when we move towards the peninsula of India, rivers which are dash in nature, Kathik, peninsula rivers are dash in nature. Himalayan rivers are perennial in nature. Peninsula rivers are dash in nature. Complete the blank. Louder. Aata hai aapko. Soche thoda. Peninsula rivers are dash in nature. Very good. Seasonal in nature. Very good. Seasonal in nature. Sit down, Karthik. Seasonal in nature. So seasonal means during the rainy season, they are filled with the water and rest of the year, they dry. But as compared to this, the Himalayan rivers are the glaciated origin. They are flowed throughout the year. That's why as a perennial in nature. So Himalayan rivers used for a generation of electricity comparatively the peninsular rivers. Those rivers which are having the larger quantities of water, they are utilizing for generation of electricity. Example, Narmada. Narmada river. Perennial, which is filled with water. Okay, right? Now, the glaciated region is... Uh, ice melted from the glaciers, it filled under the such rivers through which such rivers flow throughout the year. But seasonal rivers, they dry during the off seasons. Winters may soak jati hai ye. Peninsula rivers. Okay, na? Water quantity affect hoti. So, though areas where the availability is a more, more available resources, resources are there, they are, can be utilized for the more development. These are the developed resources. Developed resources. Third category, as stock, a number of resources which are minimum use at present are known as a stock. Aaj kam use ho raha future mein ka use bad sakta hai. Thik hai na? Aaj kam isli ho raha humare paar uske better substitutes hai. Use ho raha hai par kam ho raha hai solar energy. India mein use ho raha hai, wind energy use ho raha hai. Kyun kam ho raha hai? Humare paas uske better substitutes hai. Nuclear energy, hydro power stations hai. Why we have to invest the money in a wind or other energy? Possibilities hai India ke under because of their tropical conditions. Movement of a wind is help helpful for generation of liquid through the wind, but presently not utilizing. Limited use or future may burst that. Stock may am I. Yeni Kasaki, Nahi or a hora come hora. Reserve resources which are saving for the future are the reserves. America, it has a reserve their crude oil. It has completing the 100% of their crude oil need from a Gulf countries. Jo OPEC kiya tha kal. OPEC stands for Giadavan. OPEC stands for Giyadhavan. OPEC stands for OPEC stands for Gia. Am I audible? Then answer. Kal bataya tha bachche class mein. Aapne class attend. Uske baad lecture bhi dala tha. Aapne dekha. Yes. Eastern countries, Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan, these countries. So America complete their 100% of crude oil need from a Gulf countries. Alaska mein oil milta hai par usko reserve rakha hua hai. Kyun? Jav world mein khatam ho jake, then they start to utilize. In India, Big Boy, Bombay High and Ankleshwar in Gujarat, known for the crude oil in India. But India has minimum utilized them. We are saving for the future. Thorium, which has found, which has extract from the coastal areas of Kerala, not utilized at present. Future kill bacha rakha. Hum apna nuclear fuel, uranium, thorium, plutonium, America se purchase kar rahein. Jab ye materials pure world mein total 27,000 tons total number of uranium available. Jab wo khatam ho jayega, then we'll start to utilize our resources. This, these are the reserves. Use kar sakte par kar nahi rahein, save for the future. These are the reserves. Technology has, but not adequate. Production comes. 